Hi, um, today I'm going to tell you a story about luck and how serendipity can be your ally um, in you know, for lifelong learning. Um, so back in 2009, I just switched my phone from my you know, ancient flip phone to um, a smartphone. And one of the first things I did back then was to install an application that's called Foursquare, which is a location-aware application that allows you to um, just indicate the venues where you are so that you can tell your friends where you are and you can know where your friends are. Um, I didn't know a lot of people back then um, in, the, in the area, so I was mostly connected with people that I met at conferences and uh, through social media. So people that are already from Twitter or Facebook were also uh, my friends on Foursquare. So at some point, uh, it was a Thursday night, um, my wife just left the country because she traveled a lot internationally. And um, so I looked at my phone and I saw Alex C. at Fogo de Champ. I'm like, hmm, okay. Well, Alec C. is Alec Kouros. He's actually a, um, a professor at the University of uh, Regina and he was one of our uh, keynote speakers at the University of Delaware. And Fogo de Champ is actually the name of a Brazilian barbecue place that I went to in Brazil with my wife a couple of months prior to that. So I was like, hmm, is that like in Brazil or something? Uh, so basically I just, you know, I checked a little bit more and I saw that he was actually at the Philadelphia um, Fogo de Champ. So I just sent him a tweet because, you know, Philadelphia is just like, you know, down the block. So I just sent him a tweet asking him what he was doing there. And he told me that he was attending a conference that was called EDUCON that was um, actually happening during that weekend. Uh, it's a K-12 thing. Um, you know, it's kind of, it seems like it's better for K-12 educators to have those, the, their conferences during the weekend so that it doesn't interfere too much with their classes. Uh, so I was like, yeah, that's cool. Uh, not really my thing, but still, you know, pretty cool. And I, you know, I just asked him, well, you know, if you ever know the name of, you know, a place where you're going to hang out or whatever, just let me know and I'll just drive to Philly and I'll meet you guys. Um, so, you know, uh, Friday, app, Friday at, um, comes around, um, I'm start, I start to, you know, just look for uh, the social media um, hashtag, it's gone, and I see that it's blowing up. People are just going nuts on social media during that conference. So, kind of interesting, but then... Um, so I wasn't, you know, paying fully attention. Um, then on Saturday night, I just drove to Philly to just meet with Alec uh, during the night for uh, for just a drink. And I ended up just getting to that place and seeing all the attendees at that conference. I knew a lot of these people, so these people already. It was amazing. Uh, just because of social media, I was connected to so many of them, and I had conversations with them um, through social media in advance. So it was a, a great icebreaker. And I just decided to stay for the next day. So I asked the conference organizer if I could stay, if I could do that. He said, "Yeah, sure." So um, so I stayed for the the Sunday, and um, you know it was just a, a really neat experience that just happened out of sheer luck, out of 23 characters on a social media site. Um, you know, so it's kind of you can see the kind of the chain of events that that all happened because of those 20, those 23 characters. Um, Stephen Johnson, in a book that's called Where Good Ideas Come From, um, calls this basically what, you know, the sentence that he uses for, to describe this, this process is uh, that chance favors the connected mind. 